Channel 61 to 16 Coruscant Action News. I'm Linda Gippenstein. And I'm Yaris. Tonight, an expose on all things happening at the Imperial Palace. And what you're going to see will absolutely shock you. Rampant alcoholism among military commanders. <laughs> Looks like General Veers has had too much to drink. Your favorite and mine, sexual deviancy. Boop beep. Uh, not now. Boop boop bloop. Yes, I know you're at the proper height, but this isn't the right time. You sly old devil. Get a couple of Jabba the Hutt's dancing girls. Or boys. You know, whichever way your gate swings that day. And out of control spending. That's right, Linda. We've obtained exclusive footage. I could really use a cushion on this throne. It's only made of marble for crying out loud. From now on, I want the softest pillows under my tushy at all times. We are way over budget. A marble throne, hardwood floors, silken tapestries. It'd bankrupt four star systems to pay this off. And we here at Coruscanti Action News think this is something the Senate ought to know. That's right, Linda. We'll keep you posted as more information becomes available. This has been Coruscanti Action News Channel 61216. I'm Linda Gippenstein. And I'm Yaris. Good night, everybody. Well, did anybody else see that sham of a newscast on TV the other day? I must say it painted Imperial operations in the most unflattering of lights. Anybody have any brilliant ideas about how we can get out of this? Yes, my master. Lord Vader, while I admire your enthusiasm, not every problem can be solved with a lightsaber. Of course not, my master. Then what do you propose? We turn it back on them. Hmm... I like where this is going. And while we're at it, I think it's time for the Senate to go the way of the Jedi. Extinct! This is Coruscanti Breaking News with Linda Gippenstein, and I'm Yaris. We're taking you live to the courtyard at the Imperial Palace, where Emperor Palpatine has prepared remarks regarding the expose we ran. Welcome, welcome. Yes, yes. Thank you all for coming. Recently, I and certain members of the Imperial military were grossly maligned by Coruscanti Action News. I'm here to set the record straight. I'm calling it out as fake news. That's right, fake. This media is out to get us. Everything you saw was taken out of context, while the real stories are being covered up. And here's exclusive Imperial footage of your two trusted journalists partying with the gangster himself, Jabba the Hutt. Hmm, let's hear what they have to say. Hey, that's not me, but I have a cousin out there who works as a bounty hunter for Jabba. And I've never been to Tatooine in my life. They never report on practical things like population control. For example, the Mon Calamari. They breed like guppies, and they've infiltrated the sewer system of Coruscant like wild alligators. Tree-hugging flower power senators like Bail Organa and Mon Mothma would rather spend money frivolously on studying things like global cooling on hot desert worlds like Jakku and Tatooine. The Imperial Senate would have us divert funds from our bloated military budget to take away from your security and safety. One thing is for certain, there's a terrorist organization out there called the Rebel Alliance, and I am the man who will take care of them to keep you safe. Thank you. I will not be taking any questions at this time. May I say well spoken, Your Majesty. Hey, thanks. You don't think I came off a little too rough, do you? Absolutely not. Good, because if you're going to hit the king, you better kill the king. Know what I mean? By the way, anyone get that money transferred to Jabba the Hutt for hiring those imposters to discredit those reporters? <gasps> gasp, gasp, gasp. 
Oh my goodness gracious me. Whoa. Damn, is this microphone still on? Well, I dare say the king slit his own throat today. And on that point, we couldn't agree with you more there, Governor Tarkin. This has been Corasani Breaking News. I'm Yaris. And I'm Linda Gippenstein. Good night, everybody.